Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Just checking out what I've been up to with collecting. That's going to be another horror toy update. It's been a while since I did one of these, so uh, no particular order really. So I'll show you what I got added to my horror collection. So here we go. Um, first up is this uh, Cthulhu piece here. This goes to a HP Lovecraft, obviously, game. Um, I forget the name of the game, but I had to have this particular piece uh, to display with some of my other Cthulhu toys and HP Lovecraft themed collectibles. And I thought this was, uh, I wasn't expecting it to be th this big a scale. So that was a nice surprise considering that the price was like, I think around just under $20. So I was expecting this to be like another little mini or miniature piece because it goes to a, a game, a board game, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, this was a nice surprise when it came in the mail and, and it turned out to be of this size. So a very detailed Cthulhu piece here. I love that, I love this green. That is some true green right there. That's definitely some true green. So, really cool. So, there's a nice little Cthulhu piece. I need to play the game. Now I'm curious about the game. So, I probably should have just went after the whole game set, really, if I'm to be honest, now that I'm thinking about it. But, yeah, there's that. But I was just, I just had toys on the mind, so... Yeah, that didn't even cross my mind. So next is this cool little piece here. Um, a little coffin. I think this is actually a, a what you call a cake topper. Like for, if you wanted to make a Halloween themed cake, I think this is a cake topper, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure, but... Neat little toy nonetheless. Little skeleton peeping out of the coffin. I had to get it. Purple, yellow... Yeah, mix that in with some zombie toys. Another little eBay find. That's the kind of stuff I wish I could find find at a flea market. Next, the skeleton pirate. I love the look of this pirate. Really cool. All right. Next is a Splurt Cadaver Twin made by Splurt. S P U R R T. If I'm if I'm correct in the spelling. Guy makes these morbid, mangled up zombie toys. There we go. Had to get one. Love the marbling effect on this one. It's like a purple with some green, like a neon sort of green blended in with it. Finally got my hands on one of these. I'd like to get more pieces. I'd like to get more, more of this stuff added to my collection. It's just, it gets really, really pricey. Stuff gets very expensive with some of these um, art toys so cadaver twin finally off the wish list it's a cool little piece it does have some architect articulation but just on the head all right next is some more toonie terrors goodness from NECA this is probably my favorite that NEC has done in the Toonie Terrors. I don't know. I, I do like the My Bloody Valentine one. I think the one they did for Ghost Space is very stylish and cool looking with the, the pose for that Ghost Space. But as far as Toonie Terrors, I love my zombies. And this one's very gruesome and done really well. I didn't bring the werewolf into the for this update. I mean, I, I do love that one as well. But I, if I'm being honest, I mainly got this for this guy here. But I did, I do, I do think they did a really cool job, a really well done job with the the werewolf too. That comes packaged with this. Um, I 
Yeah, I have this one displayed in with some other uh, random zombies, whether they're whether they're movie related or not. But uh, they just did a well done. How gruesome is that? Especially for a Toonie Terror. And I love the Toonie Terrors line. So I don't collect them all. I'm kind of picky with what's come out. They've quite a few of them are out. Uh, definitely jumped on the Freddy and the Jason Leatherface. But so far, I think this is my number one favorite. It's just so gruesome. And I love the pose. And you can move his head up. You know, that does have quite a bit of art articulation with the arms. And I think the waist swivels. And that's about it. That's really about all you need with this guy. I kind of like to tilt the head off to the side like that. And display him like that. Awesome piece. I found this one at Target. When I was at Target. Sort of a, I shouldn't say impulse buy because I'd, they've been on my wish list, so. But one of those I'd forgotten about. I think this has been out for like a year now. It's been a minute. But yeah, this is this is awesome piece. I had to have this. One of the best looking zombie toys out there, if I'm being honest. Whether it's movie related or not, this is a fun piece. So that's that. Next is, finally got this off my wish list. This is nice to sort of blend in with your hearse, hearse toys. I uh, finally got the uh, coroner car. Uh, made by Johnny Lightning. I love that it's green with the black top. That's pretty sharp. That's pretty sharp. So I finally got the coroner car. Looks pretty sexy on the shelf for sure. Can't ever find these hearses or, or cars like this in store. I always have to, I always have to order offline. I don't know. Maybe it's just too real for the kids to, to witness. Because <laughs> I've never, I have to this day, I've never ran into any hearses in the toy aisles at stores. I've always had to buy my hearses online. So it was no different with this one. So the corner, the corner has arrived. Very cool. All right, next, I got this really cool piece from, uh, I'm trying not to say the word cool so much. Forgive me, guys. This awesome piece from uh, Eddie in the City. Eddie in the City Toys. And I just had to get this. It's just a simple drain pipe turned on with like some toxic chemical looking uh, sludge coming out. And this is just a perfect, fun little piece for my bookshelf. I just kind of prop this up against one of my books and it looks like it's just spewing out trash which is perfect for some of the books that I do have in my collection so I had to get that this is from Eddie in the City toys another dude that's just really friendly fun to talk to down to earth and just a really talented artist so I'm glad I got this piece I easily yeah, I did have this displayed with a few of my Chud toys, but I decided to put this on the bookshelf. I just think it looks great on the bookshelf, up against something, you know. So, really cool, translucent, sludge-looking toy. Alright, that's that. Next is a little mini zombie from a very short-lived toy line called is and find basically you just drop this ball into some warm water that fizzes and all these little pieces come about and you put them together and you got yourself a nifty little zombie toy it's a very short-lived toy line i think there was supposed to be a series too but it never happened so i'm trying to collect all these guys got most of them there's only six of them ever made this is definitely one of my favorites that's why i figured i'd go ahead and show this in a, a update video yeah, really cool. So, Fizz and Fine Monster Maniacs. Alright. Next is Super 7. I love that they're doing this pre-code horror comics series. And this is the only one I have so far. It's the Black Cat from the Black Cat Mystery. I got the Radium Poor, poor victim here of radium. 
here's the card. As you can see, I already took the toy out. I'll show you. I figured I'd keep the card back just uh, for the purpose of this update. I might keep it. It's a really nice card back, so I'll probably keep that. I opened it up very carefully, as you can see. Well, I tried to. So, yeah. Definitely got me by the headlock with this pre-code horror characters. And here he is. Holding his radium. Being affected by it. That is pretty gnarly. That's my favorite one out of the bunch. And I love that he has a yellow shirt. Bright colors. It's really fun. And I have this guy displayed mixed in with um, mixed in with some zombies. So as a, for example, this guy looks great displayed next to this guy. Different scale, but it still looks they, they look they look neat together. So I gotta get him. So yeah. Super 7 are doing amazing things, for sure. That is just a gnarly, nightmarish looking character. Crazy. Alright. Next is this cool knife. This gag, this gag knife I got. Uh, I just displayed on the shelf. Uh, it just looks very neat. It's like a murder had just happened. You can take it off out of the little blood holder plastic piece. Originally, it was like a sticky tab that you pulled off the back of this, and you supposedly it was uh, good enough to hang on you as a gag, sort of a Halloween gag thing, but took that off and then just display it like this on the shelf mixed with other death related collectibles I don't think they make stuff like this anymore which is a shame so yeah a little gag knife all right next there's two pieces I did with my friend Jason over at uh, the plastic geek um, sculpted, turned, sculpted these two pieces and turned it over to him, and he made some uh, limited, made a limited run out of these. Um, he does limited runs; they are all depends on the color, different come in different colors. This one is of a green. It's a zombie. I sculpted some maggots coming up out of his coffin, and he did like this really retro sort of fun greenish shade of green color the green sort of changes depending on the light the lighting the zombie coming up out of the dirt skulls snakes or a snake the little roach suggested to me by one of the friends I talked to as I was sculpting this, he's like, try to see if you can put a roach on there somewhere. So I was like, yeah, I can put a roach right there. So you got to have a roach crawling around somewhere. So got a gnarly looking zombie with some maggots coming out of it. So that was fun. That was a fun little piece to do. So Jason over at Plastic Geek did an amazing job with the casting molding and casting of it so that was that was pretty fun so that's that there's another piece i sculpted turned it over to jason and we call this the astro creep inspired by the astro zombie um, movies did this one a while back sort of inspired by frankenstein so Kind of did a Frankenstein sort of theme with Frankenstein's monster sort of theme with it. Some brains. The brains are inspired by a, a Madball toy. Half body, quote unquote, Mamba style. Yeah, we got Astro Creep holding his little machete. A little 
toy. All right. Next is a, speaking of Mad Balls, is a Mad Ball inspired, I don't know if I ever showed this in a horror toy update, but here's one I had in my collection for a minute, and that's a, a Belial from Basket Case, done up in a, like a sort of a Mad Ball 80s toy style. I forget who did this. This has been out for a few years now. Uh, independently made, uh, you know, Belial Ball. Love the expression. Very detailed, but yet simplistic as well. I don't know. Best of both worlds, really. This does look like something you'd have seen on in the toy stores back in the 80s. Yeah, it's squishy foam, well made. Belial from Basket Case. You can never have too many basket case collectibles. Yeah. Really. Awesome. Awesome little piece. Here is a, a vintage uh, Wilton from the company Wilton back in the 70s. I think they started out in the 70s. That company did with making cake decoration pieces, cake toppers. It was a Wilton uh, Halloween themed cake topper. You got a spooky haunted tree with an owl, a little bat, a little spider down there. So it's sort of a broken up looking wooden fence there off to the side. And I think that's a skull right there, if I'm not mistaken. Random find on eBay. Looking for one, so snatched it up for a couple of dollars. I think it makes for a fun little display piece mixed in with other things. And I remember this from another one of those little things I remember from my childhood. So that's that. All right, this is another amazing piece from, um, uh, it's two companies. It's uh, the artist is the last Zectron, if I'm saying that right, really talented down to earth dude that I've chatted with a few times um, before. And this is definitely one of my favorite pieces he's done. And it's called Stick Up. Simply titled Stick Up. And I had to get this marble variant edition. I think this is like a crazy rich orange mixed in with some gray. I'm a bit colorblind, so sometimes I see it as like a a red, like uh, if you're watching, I don't know, some horror film from like the 70s and they had like that crazy bright fake uh, red color for blood. That's what it reminds me of, but it's listed as orange. So it's a certain shade of orange mixed in with gray. But I'm so colorblind, I swear that just at times when I look at it, it just looks red to me. But anyway, yeah, made by, uh, sculpted by the last Zectron. A really talented, amazingly talented artist, and produced by Unbox Industries. Another, another really, really, really uh, fun, interesting company, Unbox Industries. So glad to have this in the collection. I've had this for a long minute too. I just don't think I've ever done like a a video update on it. So yeah, stick up. Love the theme, the shovel. The skull is absolutely beautiful, well-sculpted skull, and I love that the, the gun. That's that's just so classic, classic already. So yeah, another little cool piece I had to have off the wish list. They make bigger versions, but I'm um, just waiting on a certain color because I I would definitely love to get a bigger, to get the big size version of this piece. Um, I don't know if they'll do any other colors, but I'll wait and see. So that's that. All right, here's one made by Jason. Um, and yeah, molded and casted, and he made some uh, custom colors of this uh, pretty cool piece here. I think originally this was like one of those Halloween uh, plastic bulbs that you'd get at like a Lowe's or whatever. I, I, but I, don't, I, don't, I could be incorrect because I think this is very vintage. But he made several cool variants of this, and 
hooked me up with this really sweet looking marble bloody flesh pink marble yeah variant and yeah i love how the hands are sculpted onto the sides there that's pretty spooky but yeah uh you can get this over at the plastic geek not sure if he's gonna he, he might pump out more of these around halloween time i'm not sure i'd have to ask him but yeah happy to have this added onto the spooky shelves all right next this is from a toy line called hacks h-a-c-k and it's an and then the, the word hacked or yeah is abbreviated so it's it's kind of this toy company kind of reminds me of NECA. had a couple of collectors message me let me know about this uh, series and i had no idea this was news to me and i out of this particular series here um i had to go for this reaper and it does come with more clothing and you can switch out the hands it comes with several other different poses for hands and weapons and but I, I just decided to keep it real simple and keep mine like this. Articulation galore with this sucker. Um, so yeah, I love that this skeleton is blue. That really pops and just stands out on the shelf for sure. So I had to get me one. So appreciate people kind of keeping me in the loop and keeping my heads up on what's out there. So I definitely had to go for one of these. Another one was like $25, I think. But it comes loaded with weapons. And and uh, as you can see, it's just well sculpted. Look at the spine. The spine is like super detailed, if I can get in there. Articulation. Crazy. Crazy articulation. Kind of took me a while to find a certain pose that I wanted. So I don't really want to move him around too much. But yeah. It does come with like a... A hood that's sculpt a sculpted hood which i wish was uh cloth like the rest of his clothing but oh well so that's that got that displayed next to like one of my bigger hearse toys next is this fun little vintage wind up um comes with a series of like six or eight total i don't remember i have the other ones there's the ones like a devil the other's a grim reaper but this is my favorite out of the bunch. It's just simply this crazy demonic looking eyeball held on by like the skeleton hand, as you can see, with like gooey, meaty stuff that I don't know what that is. Maybe it's guts. But it's the it's the best looking out of the bunch, in my opinion. Um, I don't know much about this toy. I just, I think it's vintage. I'm not sure. But I don't care. New, vintage, whatever. I got it for pretty cheap. So it's fun. I like that it's translucent. The eyeball, it's got that translucent. And like not all of it's painted. So it's perfect. There's that. Uh, next is a future me that I got off of the Mondo site. Uh, same site that um, used to sell Death, Death Waltz records and stuff. Those guys. I get a future me. I absolutely love this toy. Very gruesome. Love the worms. They make. They make other colors too. And this is the. The first variant, which is the more sort of realistic, earthy colors. A nice bone color, the worms. Brown for the dirt and the overgrown, unkept grass, which is awesome. Which the grass is sort of resembles hair, which I think is funny. Definitely a fan of this artist's work. And yeah, I had to get this. Big fan of the movie Digging Up the Marrow, so it's another reason to get this toy. That same artist that came up with the creature designs for Digging Up the Marrow. His name escapes you right now, so I apologize for that. Yeah, Future Me. That's a clever name for this toy, Future Me. It's funny. All right. 
Now I got three more to show, and that'll be it for this horror toy update. Next is this cool punk rocker zombie. Absolutely love the colors of this guy. This is some fun colors right here. Love the splatter effect with the paints. It's a nice touch. Definitely has that Return of the Living Dead vibe, right? With the collar, the spiked collar, that's that punk rocker vibe. And I think this is a nice touch, what you can do with this arm. It's just you can take it off if you wanted to. I was not expecting that. When it came in, I thought it was broken. But no, you're able to do that. That's that. And this one's coming from one, I forget the the full name of this company. I just started uh, chatting with the guy who runs it. Um, but any questions and I will come back with the information. ASAP. So I'll have to put the arm back on later. That's the only removable piece that I know of. I think the head can pop off and stuff if you wanted to. Yeah, fun zombie. Oh, here we go. Here's the information here. I, th I know it's like one... Uh, what does that say? You guys can read... It's based out of Hong Kong, so if you guys are able to read that, there you go. That's that. All right, next, finally off my wish list, I've been wanting this. Uh, of course, you do have to clean it up, put it together, but it's very easy to do. Um, it only took me like, I'd say 25 to 30 minutes to get this guy all put together, cleaned up, trimmed off the extra, all the extra plastic around each, each of the pieces. And then just um, with the blow dryer, I just kind of heated up each piece and just put it together. Yeah, it was easy. I was afraid it was going to be sort of a pain to put together, but thankfully it was not. So it finally got me um, the creature from uh, Scared to Death, also known in uh, Sinjinor. Finally off my wish list. I've been wanting this particular piece for quite some time. And I came across one for like a really good deal. You know I had to put it together, but... It was fun putting it together. I had a beer and just uh, took my time, made sure I didn't break anything. Yeah, just a well solid, love that soft vinyl, well solid piece here. And here's the company. That's a very old piece here. They're looking for 1984 in May. So that's a coincidence. It's May, it's month of May right now. So awesome, love that. Giger design there. I just need one from Titan Fine. I already have a Giger alien, so. Scared to Death is a fun movie, and I'm a big fan of Sinjinor, so. Better give me one of these guys. You can paint it, but I don't have the proper paints to be able to paint this. I do like this as as is, as a solid color like this. I just think it's fun the way it as is. But yeah, you are. These are meant to be painted. So that's it. That's that one. And then last for now, I got uh, one of those grails off my wish list. I've been wanting this for quite some time. And I finally got one of these crazy looking spider skulls. And I, I, I knew I wanted it to be a certain color and I just came across this one as the marbled flesh. Nice uh, Safubi piece here. I cannot read that. If you guys can read that, 
more power to you. I forget what that says. It, it, it does have all the information on the when it came packaged. Made in Japan. Another one of those pieces I've been after for quite some time. It's been out for like a few years. Just love the tarantula legs with the skull. And you just can't go wrong with the marbled uh, flesh color. I like that you can display whatever ghoulish toy you might have that you might think looks good with this. You can also display it inside here. Real quality made stuff here in Japan, uh, Safubi material. That's soft, soft vinyl. All right. All right, the wish list is long and crazy. So still a couple, quite a few of these uh, toys on my wish list that I'm always after, always on the hunt for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it was fun doing it just to kind of reflect on what all I've got added in uh, recently. And uh, yeah, just thanks for stopping by and I appreciate your time guys. And uh, later, take it easy.